In the second semi-final, it was the youth of South Melbourne against the Morwell Falcons. But Vaughan Coveney stole the show early on with a magnificent solo effort. Coveney, of course, signed from Wollongong City, where he topped the goal-scoring charts there, scoring 12 goals in the NSL last season. Morwell had their moments in front of goal as well, in a far livelier match. But even when Anastasiadis was beaten, there were other defenders on the goal line to help the side. Mike Valkanis also had an opportunity to increase the lead, but his header went straight at the goalkeeper. Still Vaughan Coveney proved to be a real handful for the Morwell defenders, again showing what a pacey player he is. All the supporters thought he'd scored the second, but only Vaughan Coveney knew the truth as the ball hit the side netting. The second was always not too far away though, and finally it came. Con Glaxis with a fine cross on the right-hand side, and youth team player Tanzel Beza with his first senior goal for South Melbourne. Paul Trimboli set up Steve Panopoulos for the third. He outjumped the defence and the outstretched leg of John Waddell during the celebration to make it 3-0 for South Melbourne. Morwell, to their credit, kept pushing at the South Melbourne side and finally were rewarded late on in the second half. Marcus Sturviopoulos forced his way into the penalty area and was brought down by Mike Valkanis for an extremely dubious penalty. John Waddell, the veteran, didn't worry about that though and he calmly just slotted away this penalty to make it 3-1. Morwell, of course, are still awaiting the return of star striker Warren Spink and Brian Bothwell also, who's playing overseas. Final score here with South Melbourne 3, Morwell Falcons 1.